Guys, I need your help. Curly hair or straight hair? What are we doing? I hope all of you remember this girl. I love to shop, I love to go out, I love to buy nice things. I mean, I get whatever I want. We're doing a part two. Okay, I know I've been doing a lot of... This girl gets what she deserves. But today, she actually gets what she deserves. If you guys didn't watch part one, I will leave a link in the description below. Check it out first before you watch this. So recap, we got this nasty little girl here. 17 years old and takes money from her boyfriend and her mom. What happens when you ask your boyfriend Tyler for money and he says no? I start yelling, screaming, throwing things. How many credit cards do you have? 17. And do you owe money on all 17? All of them are maxed out completely. Irresponsible. Lazy does not work for anything she owns and she blames it on her mom for raising a worthless piece of shit You went to Disney World. It's like the happiest place on earth and you were upset because you didn't get fine dining Yeah, my mom was eating a fish fillet and I um pushed it in her face. I don't really care today They're gonna take her someplace on vacation to Vegas. I have a surprise for you What? I'm gonna take you to Las Vegas for Vegas girls Night out. She's 17. I went to Vegas when I was 17. I was miserable. You can't do anything in Vegas when you're 17. Pack your bags. This is going to be an adventure you're never going to forget. Okay. okay bye. Bye. She's so excited. Like, hell yeah. Dr. Bill, he's so dumb. He's going to take me to Vegas. Oh, we going to go on a shopping spree and shit. It's time. It's all glittery and lit up. There's a beautiful Louis Vuitton store right there. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Whose money are you gonna spend this time? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Oh, wait. You said that one of your biggest fears was what would happen if you ended up on the streets. Oh, please, please, please tell me they are gonna leave her ass there. Your biggest fears was what would happen if you ended up on the streets. And tonight, I'd bring you out to the streets so you could see the reality of what happens out here. <laughs> that smile faded real quick. What would happen if you ended up on the streets? Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> You thought she was joking. And tonight, I just went out to the streets so you could see the reality. Thank the limo driver, and then he's gonna go out. We'll stay here. Wait, what? Hi, how are you? How are you, sir? Pretty good. Yeah, I'm scared. I don't know what that is in that cup. I don't. I don't know what it is in that cup, girl. That's the least of your problems. Who gives a shit what's in that cup? It's either money or purple drink. Whatever the hell that is, or maybe it's just straight up water. What's in the cups? That was Julie. That was chili? You were grossed out and you're like, what is that? That's someone's meal. Bitch, it's some damn chili. She looking at it like, oh, what the fuck is that? They eat like dog food out here. What's in the cups? That's someone's meal. <gasps> oh no! I thought we were gonna go to a hotel and have catering and shit. Why are we sitting on the streets? She's so upset right now. That could be the only meal that they have for the day. You gotta tell me what you're thinking. I wanna go home. I miss my mom. I miss my mom. Hold up. Yeah, my mom was eating a fish fillet and I um pushed it in her face. Damn, looks like the tables have turned. Mommy's gone. Like she hasn't even been out on the streets for half an hour. And she already crying for her mom. I wanna go home. I miss my mom. People built tents of whatever they can get. Uh, There's someone in there. What does it smell like? Poverty. <laughs> hmm, must smell familiar when mommy and boyfriend dump you on your ass in the streets. Can I have a seat? No. Why won't you have a seat? People might have <laughs> urinated on that. I hate it here. It disgusts me. There's like trash everywhere. There's like trash everywhere. Man, I feel bad for that bus stop. This is the only trash I see. See? No. Why won't you have a seat? People might have urinated on that. <laughs> so she would sit on a public toilet at the club. She won't sit at a bus stop. You said you were up for this adventure, so let's go. We're gonna walk that direction. They've barely been here an hour. This isn't even the worst part of Vegas. I've driven past here and this place is like really quiet. So we're gonna walk that direction. I don't walk that way. It's not safe. It's not safe. I really wish 
they left her by herself. Like, she has a camera guy with her, and she has a lady walking with her. Like, why couldn't y'all leave her on the street corner by herself in the middle of nowhere? What is she gonna do? Take her damn phone, too. That's what I want to see. Let's see what happened when she saw where she would be spending the night. Damn, so the night just started. They haven't done anything but take a walk. Waiting for a fight to break out. Waiting for someone to shoot. Gonna waste a bullet on you. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? I don't know, being homeless. Send me hard information. Why? <laughs> Where I could go get somewhere to stay. I'm not giving you my card information. You're sitting in a spot and just stay there. Damn, her boyfriend's in on it too? Like, bitch, you gonna be homeless? You gonna stay homeless? I, I'm not giving you no card info. This girl doesn't even have her own card. Like, if they're not paying for stuff, she ain't got shit. She doesn't have anything. But I'm good. I'm glad he manned the f up and stopped giving her money. Just let her be homeless for one night. She needs to learn. They should have really took her phone from her. I don't know why they let her keep her phone. Hey. Hey. And I'm sitting on the side of the road in a um, sleeping bag. Oh, and it's sleeping. It doesn't make you happy, Mad. What? No one would be devastated. <laughs> Her mom's probably like, ooh, dumb bitch, you finally get what you deserve. Like, oh my god, you have to sleep in a sleeping bag? Like, some of these people are on the cold, hard concrete. You get a sleeping bag. Wow. Oh, in a sleeping bag. No one would be devastated. No, not, oh my gosh, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're like a straight up idiot. Girl, you are in a sleeping bag on the side of the street and you called your mom an idiot. What the f- You see how rude she is to her mom who talks to their mother like this? You called your mom an idiot. You're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're like a straight up idiot. Like her mom buys her so much shit. She bought her a car and you're gonna like straight up just talk to your mom like that? You're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're like a straight up idiot. Wow! I didn't mean like like a luxury sleeping bag. I meant like literally a sheet on the floor. You're an idiot. No, 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 no. No. I can't stand to see somebody treat their mom like this. I don't want to do this. I want to shower. I'm not staying out here. It's too cold. And I want to go home. How, how are you going to get home from here? I'll go get an Uber. I'll go to the hotel, <laughs> grab my bag, and go to the airport. I don't care. I'm selfish. I'm leaving. Girl, really? She couldn't do it. Just like, come on, one night, man. It's one night. Uh -huh, uh -huh, that's it. I'm getting an Uber. I'm leaving. I can't do this anymore. It's too cold. I gotta wash this damn cake off my face. I mean, they didn't even give me cake. Screw it. Charlene, once you cross the street, it's gonna get more dangerous. Okay, great. Are you sure you want to walk down that way? I don't care. So they just keep walking. She wants to leave. Wow, okay, they actually went to like a 7-Eleven, got some hot cocoa, right? Oh, and some snacks! Totally what homeless people do, right? Like even this girl, who's supposed to be making her sleep the night outside. She, damn, even she babies her. She gave her her blanket, she's like, okay, you gonna leave, you know what, let's go get hot cocoa, let's go get some snacks, just, please, just stay, just sit down on the sidewalk. After more than an hour of resisting, Sherilyn returns to her sleeping bag and settles in. Is she actually gonna do it though? That good? Yeah. All right. Damn, they baby the hell out of her. She's like, I ain't do this. Give me a luxury sleeping bag. Look, they upgraded her sleeping bag. She accumulated enough bitching points to upgrade her sleeping bag. Like she had like a sheet before. It's all right, you got LTE, you could check Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> this is how you do it. Whoa, it's the morning now. Give me just five words of how you would describe what happened about the night. I don't know, it was cool and felt lonely. Lonely, lonely. You have a camera guy and you have the girl with you and y'all just chilling. If you were talking to one of your friends and you would describe this experience, how would you describe it to them? No shit! Now if you want to make sure you don't become homeless, let's start by getting a job. Apologizing to mom for being a rotten piece of shit. I don't know what happens next. Maybe she learns her lesson, maybe she doesn't. In the four years that I've been with Sherilyn, I've at least given her $100,000. I have taken out several loans for Sherilyn to help pay for the bills. So her mom has spent over 100k on her. And her boyfriend too. 
Her boyfriend spent over 100k on her. What the hell? Where was all this money going? Lipsticks? Bitch don't even wear lipstick half the time. I blame Joey. She never disciplined Sherilyn. So her boyfriend blames her mom too for never disciplining her. That's where you come in. Cause boyfriends, they can discipline you just as good as parents can. But the problem is, he doesn't tell her no either. He's just like, yeah, yeah baby, sure. Sure, I'll buy you this. You want a $50,000 ring? Hell yeah. I'm sick of being broke at this point. I don't even know if it's gonna work with us. <laughs> that sucks, man. Imagine spending $100,000 for your relationship and then it ends up not working out. We had a little bit to spare to go out and do some things, to go out and eat and do all that. Every day she wanted to go out and do something and we just, we couldn't afford it. I feel like that's what happens when you first start dating somebody, you go out to eat every single day. Like there's nothing else to do. What else is there to do? Just sit at home, watch Netflix. You go out to eat, cause eating is good. If I ever told her that we weren't able to go out and do anything, she would get mad and upset and threaten to go out and do something on her own and spend more money that she couldn't even get her hands on. If she couldn't get her hands on the money, be like, okay, yeah, bitch, go out. Go spend some money that you don't have. But nah, he's gonna be like, oh, okay, baby, don't go out without me. Oh, uh, okay, we could go. Where you wanna go? Uh, you wanna go to a steakhouse, baby? Maybe I'll buy you a Louis Vuitton bag. Is, is that okay? Y'all need to stop playing victims over here. You need to be quiet. I don't have access to your account. I don't have access to your account. You see that look in his eye? He about to strangle her. And her mom over here defending her? Like, yeah, that's my girl. She doesn't have access to your account. Well, she's just sitting here shitting on both of them. You simply don't reward bad behavior. You don't reward bad behavior. Hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? If this somebody is gonna be an ungrateful, do not give them money for being an ungrateful piece of shit. It's like the basic rules of life. This girl has never been punished in her life. Besides, I mean like the homeless thing that they just did, but that's literally her first punishment in life. And she can't take it, she can't handle it. She can't handle real life. I think they should have been harsher on her. Her punishment wasn't enough. But yeah, I guess that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what you think. And make sure to hit that like button in the face if you want more of these videos. And subscribe, join the wolf pack. Ow! I love you guys so much, thanks for watching, bye guys.